Mitra, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a very good morning. And uh, I join Dr. Batra in welcoming you to the Screen Age uh, fifth edition. Uh, it's a pleasure and privilege to address here. Uh, I also thank Dr. Batra for your uh, most generous uh, introduction. Uh, I must tell you that, uh, on the contrary, whenever I meet uh, Dr. Batra, uh, I walk away with uh, something new and something precious. Um, I also wish to compliment uh, the Exchange for Media team, uh, led in this particular case by Priyanka and their colleagues. Um, you can uh, go through any of the events that I've attended. Uh, it is amazing that uh, Dr. Batra and his team are able to get who is who in the industry and uh, the rich uh, uh, combination of speakers on varied subjects uh, I haven't seen in many other events. And also, the, uh, we are talking about building brands. Uh, Dr. Batra himself is an icon, how within a short period in, in front of my own eyes and the eyes of many of you have built an, an amazing brand called Exchange for Media and several publications in what I call it as the most competitive and chaotic uh, industry. Uh, I, will, uh, I will begin uh, by talking about what is in store uh, for us in the country. Uh, this particular conference, I thought, should be, uh, I'm, uh, you know, there is no point in talking about uh, my experience. I started my career in 1979. Uh, rightly, it should be uh, a stage that belongs to youngsters, uh, which I'm very happy, uh, both um, men and women. Uh, but I'm going to be talking about uh, the practicing uh, business leaders' point of view on the subject. Um, there is no denial that uh, it is going to be India's decade. We, we are going to be the fastest growing economy. Of course, there will be headwinds, but it is uh, widely agreed among uh, the many CEOs of India Inc. and the economists that it will be India's decade going ahead. We are going to witness phenomenal growth in the coming years. And we are fortunate to be there. And uh, about marketing, uh, it is going to be intensely competitive as well. And I, I have seen throughout my career, because the market is growing, it is not that your brand will be able to get away with it. When the market is growing fast, the challenges also becomes very high. Uh, therefore, uh, marketing becomes a very important uh, subject and uh, whether the four P's of marketing is going to change, I don't think so. The, the price or positioning or the place and the promotion, uh, that is not going to get divided. But in India's context, it is, uh, it is a billion consumers uh, and there will be billion ways of marketing to them. And it is going to be to uh, distracted customers. Uh, where most part of my career, I saw customers captive to you. Uh, customers were not distracted. And today we have billion consumers and distracted ones. And there should be billion ways. Uh, you, you are, whichever is the medium you take it, whether it's print, television, digital, mobile, all you see uh, so much of information being shared, and how do you market uh, in this particular environment? Now, Dr. Batra also talked about the video. In a, you know, we have been evaluating a digital marketing agency. Invariably, all the people who were doing the pitch were 90% of their presentation related to how they can create videos. So my worry has been uh, and continues to be uh, whether digital marketing is getting reduced to development and uh, uh, posting of video content. Uh, otherwise, why almost all agencies should be uh, claiming about their uh, capabilities and competence to create content in the form of video. 
only thing is a TV commercial which is uh, 30 seconds may cost a crore or 80 lakhs from the average, whereas in 10, 15 lakhs uh, or even lesser cost, uh, a digital marketing video content getting developed and posted. Now, um, you also have today uh, many categories marketing, right, from political parties, and I think uh, most part of my professional career, I didn't come across real estate as an important segment, uh, spending so much of money in marketing and brand building. And ironically, uh, it is the new generation businesses who are, uh, who are spending a lot of money, the swiggies of the world. Um, the, uh, we also find, uh, even when uh, we grew up, when we studied or when we practiced marketing, we all felt that uh, building a brand will, is a big job. It takes uh, what, five years at least, or at least a decade for someone to build a credible brand. Uh, that theory is also uh, demolished, that uh, how will you explain uh, Vivo, Oppo, these kind of brands uh, getting created in a very short span of time. Uh, the, I will come to one of the researches that we had undertaken. Uh, it threw up uh, quite a bit of uh, questions about marketing itself. Uh, I will list them, but uh, then I will, we will talk about what could be possibly done. The very first one is what uh, many call, uh, uh, specifically Ajit Ranade talks about it a lot, the uh, economist, uh, what I call as the WhatsApp University. Uh, the amount of uh, information, misinformation being spread through and uh, the opinions being generated, often uh, not regulated, and uh, the, uh, the credibility it enjoys for people to believe and the instantaneous uh, forwarding to someone else and numerous WhatsApp groups, uh, the role of WhatsApp University itself, uh, it is uh, why do we believe them as authentic? And uh, I don't think we even uh, check whether it is authentic or not. The uh, second uh, important thing is about the empowerment of consumers as well as the marketers. The, the specifically the uh, mobile platform and the social media and quite a few digital platforms are allowing the consumers uh, as empowered individuals, marketers as empowered ones. And I think the growth is related to this because we all like ourselves to be in part. Uh, over the years, I have been uh, witnessing uh, the, uh, the disability or, or the dislike for larger contents. Uh, small bites uh, are the ones which is very important for building the brands. And the study revealed that uh, everyone is looking for or likability is more when the content is small. Uh, over the years, we also found that uh, the consumer insight, the money that is being spent for gathering consumer insights, the thumb rule we used to use, I, I'm talking about till around 15 years ago, whether 20% of the total brand spend will be uh, diverted towards or invested for gathering consumer insights. It's not being done so. The uh, India Inc. Uh, is not uh, investing that kind of money for consumer insights. And uh, I think the growth of mobile marketing and uh, quite a few other, when I refer to mobile marketing, I include quite a few other platforms uh, that is solving the problem to some extent or a large extent, even quite a few cases. Uh, now, equally, the important thing is the thumb rule that we all used as youngsters where that 15% uh, of the total spend uh, is spent for understanding the impact of the advertising. When the advertising marketing costs went up, uh, like the consumer insight spend drastically got reduced, 
gathering information about the impact of the advertising also got reduced. The, the marketeers were interested in putting more money into advertising or promotion. Now, uh, the mobile marketing uh, helps in at least getting measurement in a credible way. Not to, uh, not to ignore the fact that we are living in an era where we are questioning the data itself. I am not getting into that debate, whether it is a television ratings or the uh, viewership circulation, so on and so forth. But uh, the biggest, biggest uh, issue is connected with the uh, myths that are going around. Uh, number one is uh, the digital uh, marketing is, uh, is cheaper. Uh, I do not subscribe to that view. Uh, it, is, uh, it may be effective focus. Uh, but I don't think it is cheaper. But, uh, but the view that is building up and the wrongly promoted is it is the cheapest way of building the brands, where uh, quite a few MSMEs and the startups get misguided. Um, but the mother of all problems is, uh, is whether brand building is taking place or sales and the tactical advertising is taking place. Uh, unfortunately, uh, brands are not getting built. And uh, even the people who are realizing it are thinking that I can build the brand through tactical ways. That is the belief. Now, uh, the, we know very well that uh, marketing focus companies uh, deliver consistent results over a long period of time than the sales oriented ones. Uh, this can be established. But why do uh, the advertising uh, is reduced to tactical or the lead generation, sales, or it, it's given a new word, performance advertising. But the fact of the matter is brands are not getting built. Equally, the thing is connected with the e-commerce as well. I, I, am, I am not sure whether e-commerce is helping want to build a brand, and uh, we can be lectured about it that it is indeed so. And uh, often, uh, I come across, I suppose, my, uh, my e-commerce channel partners are not here. Uh, it will work against the brand is my view quite often. That is what is really happening. That is, it is reduced to price, uh, price, price. That's where it is. Uh, how do you correct it? The, uh, this is, uh, to that extent, the article Dr. Batra shared with me uh, is a welcome relief that uh, at least, uh, I don't believe entirely in the article uh, published by the Wall Street Journal. The, I don't think it'll end. Uh, equally, we know the Western media often uh, hypes it up to the other extreme and then is downfall to this other extreme of that it is the end of it. I don't think so somewhere it may slow down, but I don't think social media will die. It is here to stay. Uh, the fact of the matter is that uh, whether uh, people will uh, learn to build brands uh, consciously and divide their spends between uh, tactical advertising and the brand building advertising. Uh, the, uh, in a, in an era where we are going to witness a phenomenal amount of growth, and therefore, uh, I mentioned billion consumers, uh, billion ways of marketing to these distracted consumers, you also have the challenge of uh, India connecting with the global value chain. And uh, right now, even a company like uh, Blue Star has been struggling uh, to get uh, the marketing activity going on for those international markets. So uh, it wasn't the case that we were, we were, people were exporting in the past, so it was easy for companies to be finding consumers. It was in the B2B space. But if India has to play a very large role, 
uh, you need uh, the international marketing itself. And we know very well, a brand that is doing well in one country need not to be doing well in some other country. How do you end up building brands uh, in global markets? Uh, so there is a huge talent shortage. Uh, equally, the talent shortage is even in the science of uh, brand building. That uh, I am not uh, uh, discouraging anyone of you. At, on the contrary, I think you all have a very huge opportunities, or your children have huge opportunities. When I passed out, that uh, the top ranking students aspired to be in marketing or advertising industry. Uh, I don't think today they are, that is the case, and I, I pray that it uh, changes. So there are two sectors where we have a problem. Manufacturing, huge talent shortage, and uh, marketing, uh, huge talent shortage. In, in manufacturing, there is a shortage of a different kind as well as that. We don't get uh, women leaders at all, because for many years, India didn't invest in manufacturing, and manufacturing was taken as a job meant for men. So you have one, one problem there in marketing advertising, the, the industry was not able to attract talent for many years, but there is going to be huge opportunity ahead. Now, uh, coming to this particular conference, uh, we, um, Dr. Batra talked about the power of uh, mobile marketing. And uh, you, the data shows that uh, the smartphone users across the world is around 6.6 .6 billion. That is 83% of the world population is uh, using a mobile phone. It is only going to grow further. And uh, three countries, uh, China, India, and United States, we are happy that India is figuring there with the highest number of smartphone users. And uh, in India alone, it is going to uh, going, it is already 0.9 billion. It will become 1 billion smartphone users uh, by 2025 or 26. And 75% uh, of the digital media revenue uh, is uh, contributed by the mobile devices and uh, several innovations which Dr. Batra uh, listed in what all it, uh, what all it is happening. Uh, the uh, Estimate shows the advertising spends will reach around 77% uh, in the mobile devices. That is 77% of the digital advertising expenses are going to be there. And it is estimated that it will be uh, close to around rupees 28,000 crore uh, to reach around 78% of the total spends by the end of 2023. And uh, we saw uh, the things such as uh, mobile commerce, contextual advertising, so on and so forth being talked about. Now, uh, one of the things which uh, also I would like to add to what uh, Dr. Batra stated is the mobile wallets uh, itself. Uh, that is also uh, an important thing to keep in mind when we talk about this subject. So I conclude by saying so, uh, that it is, an ex it, is an ex it is an exciting time for us now, and it is going to be uh, yeah, India decade marketing environment, which will be far more challenging than when it was not India's decade. Uh, because there will be brands, there will be many others uh, from across the globe entering Indian market. Uh, we have uh, a situation where tactical or the performance marketing took the stage. Uh, it is time to focus on building brands. Uh, mobile phone will continue to be a very dominant medium. It is part and parcel of our life. And for brand building, uh, it will become an important device. That If marketers are told that you, you can't build brand without digital, it goes one more step to say that without uh, mobile marketing, you can't build the brands. And uh, the talent shortage is huge. Uh, it should get resolved. It opens up huge opportunities. And uh, in uh, when you keep uh, mobile commerce as an important element, I think uh, the marketers are, as of now, ignoring the power of ONDC. 
uh, I think ONDC is going to be a very powerful arsenal for the marketers. The Government of India has done a phenomenal amount of job and I think it is going to be a revolution that is happening, that is going to happen in e-commerce through ONDC platform. And uh, as you can see from the program list, uh, there are experts and I, I, I don't think there is a, there, there will be a conference of this nature uh, which will be put together covering each aspect of mobile marketing. I wish you all the best and I wish also the uh, participants uh, for the awards and congratulate them in advance. Thank you very much.